Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply NUC, and today we're going to review the new ASUS NUC 13th Gen Rugged, formerly known as the Bravo Canyon from the Intel NUC group. And you'll notice that this box says Intel NUC quite a bit because this product was sent to us back when it was still the Intel NUC group. But ASUS is about to launch this product and we wanted to bring you an unboxing today. So let's get right into it. Now, again, this is a prototype from, um, from Intel and not from ASUS. Uh, so the packaging will uh, be different, but I do want to show you what it comes in it. We have the unit. We have a, I believe, 65 watt power supply, power cord, and then an interesting uh, Visa mount plate with a, appropriate screws and also screws for other mounting. There's several ways to mount the product. We're gonna take a look at those. All right, taking a look at the unit itself, you'll notice that all of the I.O. is on one uh, side of the unit other than an optional I.O. plate. This is because of requests of the Intel Nook group for an industrial product that had all of the I.O. on one side. Simply Nook can provide the unit with a DIN rail mount which makes it very useful for having the I.O. on the one side. Now let's take a look at that I.O. And starting from the right side, you'll notice uh, what has become a standard T power cord retention plate. And next to it is the 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter DC jack for the power input. There are two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports and then four USB type A connectors. The bottom two are USB 2.0, and the top two are USB 3.2 Gen 2, 10 gigabit. There are two HDMI 2.1 uh, TMDS uh, compatible HDMI ports, and they do support CEC. And then we have the power button uh, to allow you to turn the unit on and off. Taking a look at the left side, you can see the IO expansion panel. Now this IO expansion panel is the same that is found on the uh, Tiger Canyon, Wall Street Canyon, and, um, and Arena Canyon nooks that supported an optional IO accessory. The same accessories that work in those commercial nooks work in, in this new ASUS Nook 13th Gen Rugged. On the other side, we have a Kensington lock. Next, looking at the bottom, you can see that there's two threaded holes on either side of the unit, as well as multiple zip tie uh, loops. So if you're putting this into a uh, temporary application, you can just run zip tie ties through it, tie it around something. Next, we'll take a look at the inside. Now that I've uh, donned my anti-static smock wrist strap and we have our surface, I've loosened the four screws. Taking a look at the inside and starting at the bottom, we have our 2280 M.2 slot, which supports both SATA and PCI Express SSDs. The 2230 KE radio is loaded with a Wi-Fi uh, 6E uh, Wi-Fi. You can see the IO expansion area and the 2242 socket. So the 2242 socket is a key B and supports expansion IO modules. Simply Nook has several, including extra 2.5 gigabit ethernet NICs, USB ports, and we even have HDMI capture. On the left side, you can see the DDR4 3200 DIMM slot. And next to it is the CR2032 battery and the yellow battery jumper for clearing the CMOS or passwords. On the right side next to the IO expansion area, you can see the two white four pin USB 2.0 connectors for supporting expansion IO. And the flexible flat ribbon cable is for a digital camera. The standard CDI camera cable input. The unit comes as a six watt N50, previously known as a Celeron processor, as well as the X 2711E Atom two core processor or the X7425E 
four core Atom processor. The Asus Nook 13th Gen Rugged previously started life off as the Bravo Canyon and was the follow up for a Chaco Canyon, adding features that had been requested by many customers. This product is great for digital signage. It's also great for a small thin edge server, a camera capture device using either SDI or HDMI capture in the IO expansion bay, or just a device controller. Head over to simplynook.com at the links below to order your Bravo Canyon with up to 16 gig of memory, eight terabytes of storage, and optional IO. Thank you.